Use workflow approvals to determine a collaborative evaluation process for changes to enterprise data proposed through submitted requests. Workflow approvals empower multiple users to concurrently participate using a policy-driven, inference-based workflow engine that adapts its approval policies to the content of each incoming request. Approval policies specify who can assess and take action on requests. You can apply policies at the application, dimension, no type, or hierarchy set level. Policies at the application or dimension level tend to be broad, applying settings to all enterprise data in an application or to all members in a dimensional hierarchy or container. Policies at the no type or hierarchy set level are more granular for reviewing and implementing a finer level of change. For example, Assume you're adding new cost centers to a geographically organized cost center dimensional hierarchy. You want a regional VP of sales operations to approve changes to the hierarchy and finance to approve adding a new cost center. Create an approval policy specifying approvers and finance at the cost center no type level and another policy at the geography hierarchy or cost center dimension level with the VP of sales operation as the approver. Depending on the contents of a submitted request, the appropriate approval policies become effective and invitations to participate in the review are sent to approvers. Requests go through three workflow phases, submit, approve, and close. If you enable allow enrichment in the approval policy, requests can be augmented or modified after submission. When all approval policies are fulfilled, request items are committed. When you define an approval policy, you can specify the users and groups invited to approve changes, the approval method, serial or parallel, the number of approvers, and if a submitter can also be an approver. Use allow enrichment to let approvers extend requests by adding new items such as nodes or changing viewpoints not previously included in the request. Enrichment also lets approvers with the required permissions modify and delete request items that could nullify previous actions. You can also specify when reminders are sent to invitees who have not responded and participated, and the number of reminders sent before inactivity is escalated to an owner or data manager. In the submit stage, the request assignee authors the request by drafting content, adding and deleting items, and attaching files. To ensure data is complete and provided in a timely fashion, an assignee can use a collaborative submit to invite others by email to contribute to the request or reassign the request to others. Collaborating authors can dynamically communicate using comments and conversation threads. When the request is complete, the assignee submits it for approval. If necessary, submitted requests can be recalled, modified, and resubmitted, or deleted if they're no longer needed. In the approved stage, request content is evaluated, the approval policies in effect are determined, and approvers are invited by email to participate in the review. Approvers can also access requests from their activity list, too. Approvers can take the following actions. Enrich requests by adding or modifying items based on their own permissions. Collaborate using comments and conversation threads. Approve and reject requests. And push back on requests if submitters need to make changes and resubmit. In this case, the list of approvers is refreshed based on the content of the revised request. A request closes when it's approved or rejected and only approved requests are committed. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.